Yeah, prayer. I feel that it's it's a question of prayer and keeping a, an open mind and just keep nurturing the willingness to to want to hear. And for myself, when I would have confusion, um, where it, confusion basically means there's self-doubt in the mind. Because when you have no self-doubt at all, then you're in, a, in an experience of confidence, true self-confidence of the spirit, where there, there is nothing confusing at all. There is, there's just a sense of openness. So if there's confusion, confusion involves some kind of conflict where opposing things are wanted. And so this comes back to this, what we've been talking about here, that when there's fear of hearing, then you're wanting and you're not wanting to hear at the same time. And that's where there's confusion. So um, what I would do is I would just actually face it, I would say, okay, what am I afraid of losing? What do I, what am I identified with? Who, you know, what do I feel that I need and that I would be afraid of losing and giving up with, and I would just write it all down and share it with the Holy Spirit and share it with Jesus and just bring it up into the light. Not only the things that I practically have, but also the things that I wanted, like the dreams I might have had, the hopes that I had the things that I would want to come in the future that I may be afraid of, of losing, even if I didn't have them yet. You know? And just lay it all out to the Holy Spirit. And say, okay, here it is. You know how scared I am. You know I have fear of not having what I think I need. And, and I want you to help me with it. I want to give it to you so that you can show me and you can direct me. And I found that to be very very helpful and then I think moment by moment as you're going through uh, just daily life where there seems to be confusion around specifics you know should I go here or go there should I do this or not do that then it's also a question of, of prayer in the moment and just taking the time if you start to find yourself being confused to take the time to pause and pray and and really nurture an intuitive awareness in the moment of what feels guided what feels right because the mind is always going to be bringing up all of these pros and cons and you know lists of what's good what's not good why to do it why not to do it you know and by the time you get into all those machinations it's like oh wow <laughs> you can get paralyzed so I think when those moments happen too again it's just give it all over bundle the whole thing up and again give it to the Holy Spirit and come back to okay what would you have me do you've probably already told me <laughs> maybe I overlooked it or I was busy adding on to your plan and so I got lost and got sidetracked again help me come back to being in touch with your practical guidance or that feeling. If you're not hearing a voice specifically, it's more of a feeling, wanting to be motivated by a sense of a movement which has some gentleness or a loving feeling behind it, not this push of sacrifice and get it done. Yeah, that's helpful, thanks. Um, yeah, I think that that, uh, I mean, I've, I felt that, that feeling, um, and I think that's extremely helpful, um, and, and more important than I realized, yeah, to, to ask for that on a consistent basis and notice when it's gone. Thank you. Yeah. Oh, you're so welcome, Dan. Yeah, catching it early. And that's where he says, you know, you're so worthy of this full attention. It's not that you ask for too much, it's that you ask for too little. Uh, you're, you're worthy of full attention, 100% care and attention. That's what your mind and your heart is worthy of. So 
Oh, and this is our relationship with God that we're then nurturing and giving our full, undivided attention to. And it's in the specifics, you know. It also involves the specifics. So, 